Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 25 of our joke mod playthrough. I'm saying that with a little trepidation now because as I'm inside this chest, I can't see it at the top of the bar here and I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 25. I'm going to take this map today because, well, I'll probably forget to do it. Got a bunch of stuff to sell. I originally looked at starting to use the stun baton because I found a level four. I've got the stun baton repulsor mod that I could make. I got an ergonomic grip mod on there. It's not too bad. And the fact that, you know, if you actually get a shock hit, it knocks them backwards. It's not too bad, but my stink bat is better. Uses more stamina, but I also get the benefit of all the stink or all the uh, perk plus sort of stuff for having the old stink or the uh, joke mod uh, perk points going on here. So that's why I'm not currently using that. There's something behind. Oh, it's a bear. It's a boo boo. Huh. I kind of want to know what happens if I take boo boo out. Out to pasture, that is. Let me close this just in case. Last time we left home and uh, Mr. Bone decided he was going to step inside our house and try and rob us. And I did not appreciate that. Tom, you're, you're kind of slow today, but it's okay. I'm kind of curious about this bear. I want to take it out, but I kind of don't want to bother. It's one of those, like, I don't really need the meat specifically. And I don't exactly know if I'd get anything good for it. Set you on fire a little bit, I guess. And Dunskis. Okay. I didn't know for certain if maybe per chance I'd get a sort of loot drop from it. I don't think there's a bear vehicle. It would be kind of cool if there was, but I don't think there is. So it's day 25. We still got plenty of time to work on fixing the base up before the next horde night, which, if I can math right, is day 28. I think... I think, therefore I am probably wrong, that we have an airdrop that'll come in later Let today. Us visit for a while. Let us visit. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna sell you all of this stuff. That put us back up to sixteen thousand monies, which is pretty good. I need to put this in one of my vehicles. So restock I think he restocked today. I wanna double check to see if he did. Golden rifle, I have one of those. That's really cool, but it uses money. It does a lot of damage, but it uses money, and money is not something that I'm going to give up anytime soon. Reaction rifle schematic. Oh, that's a Winchester. It's only I would only be able to make a level one and I probably wouldn't be able to make it anyway. It's kind of cool though. Let's see. Learn to craft metal chain mod. I kind of want to buy this just for the I'm gonna buy it. Oh, I did it. Probably shouldn't have, but I wanted to. Extra damage, sleeping victims at night. We don't really do much stuff at night, so I'm gonna hold off on that one. Let's see, do you have any mods over here that don't suck? Pooh berry pie, chicken super schematic. So these are some more foods. And I have those and a beaver tooth special. You don't have anything over here. Lock picks. I'm okay on lock picks. What about ammo? You don't have any kind of ammo. Steel nails. You know what? Let's buy 20 of those. That's not too bad. 20 nails are good. Nails are good. I'll come back now. You here? All right. We're going to use you. And we got it. Nice. That's what I was hoping for. Batter up. Seven out of seven. Power attacks that kill your enemy. Refill your stamina meter. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a good one. I have to say, in this joke mod series, I feel like I've collected more books than probably any other series. And it's kind of strange that I haven't got a single Pistol Pete book. Not a single one. All right, so here's what I want to see real quick. I want to use this. Use you... Uh, hold on. If found, please contact Scallywag Pirate Yubanashi on Twitch. Okay. Where are you wanting... Okay, that's actually not too far from here. That is south-southwest of us. Where's that going to be? Like right in the middle of town? Or right on the outside of town? Right over there. A little spot we haven't been to yet. So there may be something over here we haven't done before. I do have my shovel. This is a treasure hunt sort of thing. So we won't be spawning in idiots as we're running over here. I'm not going to worry about trying to blow the land up. I think, again, I should probably stop doing that. But I think treasure hunts like this still go by the old school usage of the treasure can be found into the southwest corner versus the dig quests are the ones that are kind of randomized i think obviously we're going to try it out and see if that's still hey calm down calm down kawasaki holy cow <laughs> yeah holy cow is the appropriate response to that we have a small little oh man okay we got a small little dig site over here is there anything good in there? I'm willing to bet things are in those trailers that could probably be nice to have and probably kill me at the same time. So, we may or may not decide to go in there. 
All right, well, at least this one's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so we don't have to worry about trying to dig through a hill or something. Okay, I'm going to circle you back around, Mr. Kawasaki, and put you right back that direction. Should we come about needing to run very quickly? Let's see, got my shovel. Looks like uh, Bruce is over there trying to climb a rock. Hey, do what you got to do, man. Okay, southwest is right over here. We're going to start in this corner, and we're going to get lucky. I can feel it. Bruce, are you coming over here, or are you going after a tree? Kind of looks like you're in the middle of attacking a tree. All right, well, I'm not going to interrupt what you're doing. Okay, so now you're all pissy. All right, well, come get some, sir, or you can help me dig. I didn't bring an extra shovel, but your hands are pretty good at punching through the hardest of materials, so surely you could probably punch through dirt. Is Jiggles with you? Check our surroundings. Cal, I need you to give me a good, hearty moo if you see something coming at me, okay? All right, back to digging. Okay, so maybe it does spawn a few zombies in. We got Sylvia. We got some EMS personnel. Hold on. Can you hit Sylvia? Come on, Carl. Give it up, man. I'm sorry, Sylvia. I, I really am. And swing and a miss. That sucks for you, sir. He's on fire! Is that Marlene or Arlene? I'm not sure. We're just gonna... No, no, no. None of that. None of that at all. All right, hang on. Let's go take care of Edgar. We got a couple idiots showing up over here. Kind of interrupting the party. That's Arlene. Okay, the rest of y'all just stay right over there. I think we're good. So far, it doesn't look like it's in the southwest corner. The main reason why is because I started in the southwest corner, and as I started digging a trench around the top, it started moving the circle further that way. So, as far as it being center of the or, uh, southwest corner of it, doesn't really look like it since it keeps moving that way. But... Until some other idiots show up, we're going to keep on keeping on. Way to go, Cal. Way to go. Here, let me do all the work. Oh, whoops. Great. And I got hit. I'm blaming you for that. And sir, if you don't stop holding on to your ma'am, whichever one holding, you got udders, you're a ma'am. You are going to end up being food if you don't start helping out a little bit more around here. All right. We got, let's see, Big Mama. We got Sylvia. Looks like Glenn showing up over here to do some cleanup work. All right, not too bad. At least we don't have somebody trying to puke on us again. Again, I'm sorry. Big Mama, is this your crew? Yeah. Trying to get a, let's see, power attack, and boom, filled up the stamina. That's fan-freaking-tastic. Probably one of the better book ideas I had. Or, not idea, but you know what I mean. Better ideas I had to get that specific book. All right, well, we're slowly digging out. You dig out the top. By the way, if you didn't know this, if you're kind of new to the game or whatever, on these dig quests where you got to dig out an area and try to find it, one easy way to get the circle to kind of narrow in a little bit more is to dig off the top soil around where the circle goes. And then as you start breaking apart the top soil, the circle gets smaller, and then you can dig down a little bit more, and you don't have to try and trench the whole freaking area. It's not a huge time saver, since some of it still requires a little bit of luck to figure out where it's at, but it, it at least kind of helps a little bit with getting the circle smaller, and you don't end up in a hole that you can't get out of. And here they come again. I'm guessing it's like right down there. We'll dig there next here. All right, who do we got now? Ooh, Gary showed up. We also got Skeletor. He's a little bit beefier. Okay, so, whoops. Wow, you went all the way down in there, didn't you? gonna just full-on power swing from everybody since I can get the stamp. Oh, that's just lovely. Gary, what's up, dude? Where's your hog? I haven't got one yet. I'll let you cook just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And down he goes. And we got all our stamina. Sylvia? Wait, where'd you go? Did you despawn? Did you die? What happened? Did you fall in a hole and keep digging? <laughs> yes, silly. Okay, I'm going straight for the center on this one here. We're gonna we're gonna get in this stupid thing. Worst, I mean, worst. Best case scenario, we're digging out this hole. We're getting a lot of clay that we can put inside the forge and use for other things, and we're just getting a bunch of experience. So it's not a horrible horrible thing to just dig out a random hole. Now, if I had brought some dinamite, it would be a little bit faster. But you know, I'm not one to plan ahead. I kind of just fly by the seat of the pants sort of thing. Okay, now who's here? I hear some shuffling around. Okay, I see Tim's over in the tree. Skeletor and 
Sid are walking off that direction. Okay, so nobody's really coming this way. We've got to be real close. Look how small the circle is. It's got to be like right here. They definitely buried this one a good little distance underneath for sure. They did not want anybody finding this one. I'm probably three blocks down now. Let's see. One, two. Okay, so maybe I'm two blocks down. It's got to be right here, right? I can feel it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I'm going to use a time charge on that one. Okay, so somebody's coming over. Tim, what's up, dude? You decided chopping down that tree with your bare hands wasn't a good idea, so you decided to come over and mess with me. Nut shot. Power nut shot. Okay, so we have some time charges. I want to use these. Or at least one of them. Because I don't want to have to dig this hole out. Uh, you know what? You know what? Hang on. We're, we're going to do the dumb things here. I already know right now, if I don't dig out so I can get a clear shot to this thing, I'm going to throw the time charge. And all it's going to do... No. Is... No. There you go. Is blow the dirt up in front of it and not do any damage to this thing. I just I just know that's how it's going to work. It's how my luck is. There we go. And... Boom's case. That probably did not open it all the way up there. But maybe at least weaken enough we can get in. How de... That's not too bad. Let's finish this one off and we'll get the rest of the treasure the hard way. Great. Somebody's coming to see me again. Let's see. Who is it? Come on in. Who are you? Oh, goody. It's Marlene. Come on down here. I don't want to climb back up. If it's just you, I'm almost into this thing now. Appreciate you bringing me a light, but I don't need... Oh, great. Look what you did. Now I'm going to end up hitting... Yeah, I'm going to end up hitting you. Move your hand out. Ew, gross. You did... Hang on. We got an airdrop coming in. Ooh, it's going to be that way. That's back towards the casa. Where? Oh, where? Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll do a quick waypoint. We'll go get that one after we finish this treasure. Almost there. Two more hits. And we're in. Yeah. Treasure completed. We got a level two AK. Let's see. Is it better than our level three? Uh, no. We can sell you bullet tips. Okay, so ammo's good. Oh, 12,000 monies. Oh, sweet mama. And Rex Prawn. Uh, am I supposed to take that back to him, or can I, op can I open it? It's like some old 80s stuff here. You found some porn mags, Rex's name on it. Some pages stuck together, might want these back. You may want to wash your hands. I can sell them to him if nothing else, but look at that. We completed a full stack. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go around the outside of town here, so we don't have to bob and weave through all these fences we keep running into. I'm going to sell... No, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to sell Trader Rex porn back to Trader Joel. They can figure it out amongst it themselves. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get in the middle of their, um, their scuffling. Maybe just maybe they can do some bartering stuff back and forth, and it'll calm wreck down just a smidge. Oh, that's way faster than trying to go through all there. So we can run back over here. Wait, hang on. We got to go around this fence. Excuse me, sir. Yep, cow just busted right through the fence. It's way, way faster than trying to go all the way around that yard yet again. All right, don't you run off now. Thank God, a customer. <laughs> I thought you might be one of the dead. Uh, eh, some days. Okay, so I'm going to sell you this, and I'm going to sell you my AK. There you go. I got all kinds of Much good money. Much obliged, stranger. Much obliged, indeed. I'm going to go get this airdrop. Since the reset today, we can go get this airdrop, then we head over to Trade Erect. Tell him what we found, what we just sold Joel. And uh, see if maybe he has a job for us. It's still early enough in the day we could go do one. And since we unlocked the tier 2 stuff, and we're in the middle of a better city little area over there, we could potentially get a uh, get some much better loot. Uh, there's a couple buildings over there. Now, the Higashi Tower that was right across the street from the uh, salvage little thingy that I went into. Can't remember what it's called now. Uh... Richard Johnson's thingy. Uh, that one right across the street. I am not prepared to go into Higashi yet. That is a beast of a place, and I don't want to deal with that one just yet. Okay, put you up there, you up here, you over here, and you right there. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The rest of you can kind of stay there. All right, give me something I don't have, please. 500 cobblestone cubes. That's pretty awesome. What are you? Cloth armor bundle? Maybe. Some corn on the cob. 
can sell you and I can sell you, not for much. Nice, a little bit of cash, not much. This is garbage, can't sell that. Potatoes, corn on the cob. This is okay stuff. Anti-stink pills, remove stink, level 25, I mean 25%. And a level five BB gun. <laughs> That's not bad stuff, it's not bad. Let's crack this open and see what it is. Okay, so we got level three cloth armor stuff. What are we currently rocking here? We got level three padded gloves, that's these. These are the exact same thing, but these have better durability. So, same thing with the pants. Nothing else what I could do is just take the stuff off of them. And that's pretty much the rest of it here I could just probably sell. But since these two are all kinds of busted, and I'm not going to bother repairing them, I could just scrap that and scrap that, and then I could just sell those down. Somebody come into my cow? I hear you shuffling. All right, well, let's get on the cow. Let's go see old Trader Wrecked over here and see if he's got anything fun for us to do. I'm really enjoying this cow. I have to say, a lot more than I thought I was going to. I love the car. I really do. But gas is expensive, man. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but prices have gone up a little bit, and it makes it hard to justify riding my hot rod all over the wasteland. I mean, we don't want to go back to the wasteland, period. Also... You guys have told me a few times, and something I and I think I even mentioned this in a previous video. I need to pay attention to stuff. Sometimes I don't pay attention. Imagine that. But I had the eggplant seeds recently in a recent video. What's up, Jasper? You still hanging out over here? And I didn't even think about the notion that eggplant seeds will grow eggs. Do you have anything? Dogs, silence of the Karens, kill some Karen zombies, some screamers, dishonorable discharge, the soldiers. Don't feed the danger floofs. That's some regular bears. I mean, I guess I can buy all of these. Buy you, 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 and you. Hey, you got, you got a bunch. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Has your corn regrown yet? You're a crappy farmer. I picked all that like a long time ago. Hang on, y'all are getting obnoxious here. Hey, what are you doing, man? If you're a friendly, stop beating on the door. Yeah. You're big man, huh? Hang on, there's Jiggles. Come here, you. Showing off what you got again. I don't think I ever checked these. Hey, free gas. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, I'm going to have to take out old Jasper here. He's making way too much noise. And although he's friendly, he's making way too much noise. It makes me think other things are going on. You, okay. Uh, let's see. I want to sell just a couple things to you that I don't want, like this, this. That, that, and that. Those are good. These cobblestone cubes or whatever, they're going to be great because I can use that when I'm doing repairs in the base. That'd be pretty awesome. What do those do? Oh, it's just an actual decoration thing. Okay, what do you got in the old secret spot here? A copish? That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Automatic weapons handbook. Craft M60 machine guns. I kind of want to buy that. I kind of want to, you know? Let's see what else you got. Mini bike. I don't need that. I've got plenty of vehicles now. Bomb squad leg armor. Oh, that's heavy armor. I'm trying not to use heavy just because it uses so much stamina. Okay, you know what? Uh, let me see. Where did it go? Where did it go? I'm going to buy you real quick. Let's see if you got anything else that I have to have. Ooh, hang on real quick. I doubt you do, and I forgot to check the other place. Do you have a cooking pot? No. Do you have eggplants? No. What about over here in your super stash? Cooking pot? No. Eggplant? No. I, okay. I get traitor wrecked i have to say sometimes his uh the things that he say in the game it's it's not vulgar to me i don't care but it's just kind of annoying you know okay automatic weapons handbook where are we on that one? Oh, we have two Woo! but crafting an m60 it'd be a good way to waste a whole bunch of ammo let's see i don't want to read these kill some dogs i don't know if that's going to be one of those we have to go somewhere to dog uh, to do uh, Silence of the Karens. We haven't seen very many. We still got to kill a giant Karen. I'm just accepting all these in case I can just do them on the fly. Zombie soldiers. We've seen a few of those. And danger floofs and regular bears. Okay, so we've done those. Let's see how many of these are just do them wherever. Get disarmable discharge. We have to go to a place to do that. So the regular bears... And the zombie dogs are the only ones we can do everywhere. Anywhere else, if I were to make a guess, let's see. If I looked over here, hey, it's over here in the wasteland. Let's just see how many of the other ones I have. Starving Tours, Dishonorable Discharge, Silence of the Karens. That's a bunch of 
screamers. We might be able to do that today or later on. Or so. we'll, we'll just have to see. we got to go do a, a thing first. But at least it gave us a quest marker that's not in the wasteland. Now, having a bunch of screamers show up and hoping to God we can kill them before they uh, summon in a whole bunch of really terrible things, that's, that's one of those risk-reward things that I'm not quite sure if the risk is worth whatever level of reward it is. So are we going to this little farm over here? Is that what we're going to do? I guess we'll find out when we get there. Oh, no, maybe not. Are we going to this blown out place here? I can't remember the name of what he said we're doing. We're just going to run through the fence because that's what the cow does. Screw your fence. We make our own path. Okay, you stay right here. Hang on just a second. I do want to put some stuff in you, like all of that. Wait, no, no, no. Let me do 11 so it'll sort that out here. Put all that in there. And I'm pretty sure I clicked the wrong button. Did I not? I did. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Auto shop. Well, this ought to be fun. Make sure some things are reloaded. We're good. Make sure it didn't despawn my cow, because that would suck. All right. I know there's a bunch of toms in here. Auto dealer. Ooh, ammo on the counter? Yeah. For a gun I don't have. If I did, that is one thing I can say for certain, that if I did decide to make myself a Winchester, I would definitely get the mod again to where I could use 7.62 ammo on it. I mean, not 7.62, but 44 ammo on it. Because to me, if I'm using a lever action Winchester rifle, it's got to have 44 ammo on it. I can't be using 7.62 or 9mm or whatever the other one is. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and drink you. Put you over there, and I did forget to go ahead and clear that out the way so it doesn't show up on my map. Okay, good to go in here. Nothing up there. Forgot to search you. Eh, you know what? Might as well go ahead and use it. We're just going to leave a bunch of empty jars around today. We're, I'm tired of finding them, so we're going to leave them for other people. And you have nothing, nothing here. Okay, entryway is clear. What's in the bathroom? Yeah, okay. Might as well just go ahead and top off all the fluids here with some nasty water. Need another jar behind. Because we are considerate. Scrap you, scrap you. Okay, let's see how many people we can wake up just by walking in here. Uh-oh. I see Carl over there. Trying to light up the way here. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ow! No. No, sir. Don't friggin' do that. You get shot in the nards. Carl? Don't do it, man. He's burning. He's burning. He's burning for me. Man, the nail gun is just too damn good. Too damn good, I tell ya. It's fantastic. Sweet! More gasoline. I am a big fan of the nail gun. I'm gl Oh, holy monkey. We got a Yuzi. Mac 10. Ooh, what are you? Vehicle reserve fuel tank mod? Teach? Oh, hell yes. It's not the vehicle fuel efficiency mod, so that's not really great. Considering that I already have big tanks that I don't have enough gas for as is. So uh, I was excited about that for a minute for no reason. I could probably put it on my cow. I'm just going to scrap you and I'll take both of those to sell. Uh, nails. Nice, nice. They're not steel nails, which is what I'm currently using for ammo, but at least I have a stash of the, another level six shovel and some more gas. You know, this would probably be a good place to get the best amount of gas possible is inside an auto shop, because at least we have these barrels laying around and they all have at least a little gas in them. May not be a lot, but every little bit helps. Check around, make sure we didn't miss anything else. I'll take you, I'll leave the cloth. It sounds like somebody's running. Who's running? Oh, it's just Kyle. Oh, you took it in the knees. Oh, dude. That's just nasty. I knocked off his whole freaking leg. Don't feel bad in the slightest, but that's nasty. Came in with an aerial attack and just ruined him. And not leaving the empty jar there. We already made that. We made that button up. What are you? Well, that's kind of cool looking light. Which way do you want me to go now? Check your corners. Check above you. Hello? Oh. No? No. Told you before, sir. You don't run at me. No. Bad zombie. 
Okay, so that was locked, so you don't want me to go that way. Is there an easy way down, or I just pick a spot and fall? Oh, there's a ladder over here. Ladder, stairs, it's one of those things. It's the same thing. Let me guess. Empty can. Oh, no, shamich. Blueberry seeds. I do keep... I will be completely honest with you guys. 25 days into it. And I do keep forgetting the fact that... Um, farming in this one has returned back to the way it used to. Where you don't have to have a farm plot. You can use a... You can just... In the soil sort of farming here. So I could easily plant... A, well, that's not good. I could easily just like put a bunch of dirt on top of the roof. And start planting some things up there. And it'd be good to go. On, as far as farming goes. Okay, you're going to have to go around the long way because I'm not coming all the way back up there. A little bit more gas. Let me guess. Murky water. No, ah, nice. Some boiled water. Uh, did I, I didn't get my bolt back. Is it over here? Probably not. I'm a little bit low on bolts on this. Oh, there it is. I'm actually a little bit low on bolts. It's not my primary weapon, but it still works really good for doing a quick sneak attack. So I don't want to be out. But man, it's one of the only reason why I've made what I have so far is just because that's a doghouse. Is because I was able to find some steel arrowheads and then just make them that way. Is that a feral house cat? That is a feral house cat. Oh crap. Um Tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. Instead of doing the dumb things, that's that's one of those dumb things. Put you right there. Put you right there. Who's growling at me now? Oh, it's Bozo over there. Okay, so we're going to see if we can't get a little bit of sneaky damage over here. Uh, I don't think we can take out a feral bobcat with a crossbow, but we're definitely going to give it a try. And there's a dog, which is not part of the challenge, unfortunately. And biff! No, I stretched his head all kinds of places. Killed the dog. Let's see. Let's do... You're a bad dog. Gotcha. Hail to the yeah. Okay, is there anybody else over here? <laughs> Look at Lieutenant Dan like, oh, I for they, wait. Oh, he's climbing inside the doghouse. That's kind of cool. Hang on, let me go see if I can get my bolt back from Mrs. Longneck here. Cloth rags, stuff and things, plastic. More stuff. Th what is this? Hey, lady. Yeah, I don't think you're getting through there anytime soon, but I will go ahead and get this backpack so you don't have to worry about it. Some level six padded boots. Hang on. Which we're currently rocking some level fives. How about these are any better? Those are better. I need to repair these real quick, but those are actually better. You and scrap you. Nice. What's up, Lieutenant Diane? You got no head either. Working stiff tools with more stuff. Hey, that's not bad stuff. If nothing else, again, I can sell that stuff. But it's kind of, since I'm getting a bunch of level six tools, it's like I kind of don't want to sell them just because they're mine. <laughs> I, I, I earned them, right? <laughs> to the roof we go. Let's see. I should probably bring you out just in case there's any stupid birds here. Or things going to spawn in that haven't quite yet. Uh, I see a chicken. I see ya. You're on fire! Yeah. Screw you, bird. Okay, let's see. What else do we have over here? If I were to make an educated guess, I'd say it's probably another one of those. And... <gasps> well, that's just a regular stupid bird. I don't get credit for those. Alright, I'm going to jump down here now. and I'm going to get this loot, and I'm going to need nothing to spawn in on top of me. Leather trunks always have a bunch of good stuff. Let's see what you got for me. Microphones. Okay, so these are all things I have. What are you? High impact 9mm ammo. Okay, not bad. Some pumpkin spice coffee. Okay, can take it. Explosive nails. A finger gun. Oh, nice. The only reason I'm excited for a finger gun is because you have to have finger guns to be able to make the little repair kits for those. Free ammo's nice. A little bit of healthcare stuff. Let's crack these open. Hang on, does somebody make it up here? Or are they just down below? I don't, I don't. It sounds like they're right next to me, so you never know. Stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh, and the gods have shined down on us. And we got a repair kit, so we can go ahead and 
fix this bad boy. I want to see real quick, what does it take to make a vehicle fuel saver mod? Obviously the workbench, forged steel, got it, scrap, bottle of acid, maybe, and mechanical parts. This may be the one thing that we have a little bit less of, but still, stuff and things, man. Stuff and things. Uh, here, another kitty. Screw you, cat. All right, so everything's cleared. We need to go talk back to Trader Dude. We may not have a chance. We'll, we'll see how, how long it takes me to get back over here and talk to the dude. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh-oh, fish tailing all over the place. We need some better traction control. If I can get a, a fuel saver mod for my car and for my rocket lawn chair, we... And I'm hungry. Goody gumdrops. Let's see. Did I have any food that's this besides this right here? Hang on. Can of miso. Let's do this. Let's do it. Wait. Oh, I can't do that while I'm on here. Okay. We're well, just going to have to be hungry for a minute. We'll get over here and talk to Trader Dude first. Whoops. Easy peasy. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and eat you. Uh, no. Let me eat you real quick. I can eat a couple of these. It'll get me up out of the range of which he's complaining about it. I have vitamins at home I can take so I can eat a shamich because those actually do pretty good for you. But that ought to keep me from being hungry for a little bit. Okay. Let's see. What do we get for doing your job for you? Iron crossbow. It's level two compared to this one's not nearly as good. Iron helmet. Nine millimeter ammo. Shoot, man. The ammo may be the best thing again. I'm not using nine right at the moment, but it'd be good to have. Fine, I'll take it. Okay, I need you to buy pretty much most of this stuff, okay? Okay, well, he didn't really have a whole lot of stuff that I wanted to buy right this very second, so... Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Um, it won't. I already ripped the door off the hinges. So here's what I'm going to do instead. Since I really want to try and get this vehicle saver mod um, going, I'm going to head home. It's kind of closer to the end of the day, which I typically end videos anyway. I don't really run them too far into the night just because for me, I start about the same time to end about the same time. It makes the videos about the same specific length, you know, uh, besides editing out travel time or mining or, you know, busy work. It helps me keep the videos to a specific length. And this particular mod, everything is stupid dangerous at night more so than during the day we've already died twice in this series due to being attacked by things at night i believe i think one of those was a horde night but still it counts so that's why i don't really do too many things at night and the uh, generator the repair generator missions those are kind of cool and i like that they've been added to the game but as far as like what you get from them, I mean, it's just a quest, so you don't get that much as far, you don't get anything different reward-wise than you would for any regular kind of quest. And really, depending on where it sends you, you don't get a tremendous amount of better loot. So it's one of those, like, they're fun to do because it extends the video and it's a different kind of challenge of being out after dark, that sort of thing. But it's not like, oh my god, this is the best possible way to get X loot, you know? Whoa, don't fall off the roof. So we're going to run in. I want to drop off some of this stuff real quick. And I want to see if I can get a vehicle saver mod made for our car. Let me see. I know I need forged steel. We're good on the end. Probably mechanical parts, electrical parts. Let me guess. Duct tape. Acid's what we're going to be low on, right? Is that what I was saying here? Bottle of acid. I need four of those. Do I still have any of those acid bullets? I do. Okay. So here's what you can do if you didn't know this. If you open these up... You get acid for them. It's not what I want to use those for, but it's what I can use it for. Vehicle fuel saver mod. Craft. I gotta actually click the button. Vehicle saver. I want to repair all of these tonight too. Or I guess I could technically do it like right here. Might as well repair you too. And since these are kind of all free repair kits, since I just found them, I'm kind of just topping off everything. Let's repair you, and I can't repair you just yet, but you're fine. Okay, so now what I'll do is tonight I'm going to go through and compare with what I just got today with what I currently have. Which one of those is my normal shovel? Oh, it's this one. Okay, let me put you... Actually, here, let me do Let me put you down here so I can keep up with it. But, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. This one was a fun one. Nice, chill day, digging a hole. That sort of thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, would you do me a favor and leave a like on the video, of course. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you later.